everybody and welcome to the next game that I'm going to play, which is obviously going to be Call of Duty Ghost. It was released today. Um, I am not going to immediately upload it because I remember that there was some copyright stuff with Black Ops 2 last year, where you could not actually upload uh, some episode of the campaign um, for the first one or two days. But let me just quickly explain that this Call of Duty has a lot to prove to me. It needs to do its best to win me over, because I will not lie. Um, I didn't really thought anything special about this Call of Duty. All the trailers that I saw were kind of meh. Um, in all honesty, though it's a next-gen title, the graphics were also not that impressive, especially if you would put it next to a battlefield. Um, and at first, I thought they were using a new engine, but it is actually still the fucking Modern Warfare 1 engine, but just heavily modified. It isn't until the next Call of Duty that we're getting a fully new engine uh, based Call of Duty. So that's kind of meh. I mean, there were even videos and pictures of, of um, people uh, comparing Crisis 1 to Call of Duty Ghosts and where Crisis would actually look prettier. I do have to say that the water level, the things that I saw, the water level looked very impressive and I hope they do that um, pretty early to win me over. But like I said, I'm always like this. I am open to um, change my opinion. If they can convince me, I'll gladly uh, be of help. I mean, I, I thought Black Ops 2 was the best Call of Duty in a long while since it actually took some leaps, was different, and the story was kind of cool. This, though, with the apocalyptic stuff, and also, because we have ghosts, I'm not really interested in that. Um, people who saw my Call of Duty 1 video know that I like Call of Duty because it's epic, and you're with a lot of squad members, and you feel like you're part of this bigger war. But, when you're a ghost, when you're Black Ops, behind enemy lines, that means you're in a tiny group, in a small group, especially with that fucking dog again. It's, um, I don't know, I hope it's still fucking epic. But anyway, let's begin. This game saves on an enemy at a certain point, and I turn up the power there. Um, fuck. I did play. I did play Call of Duty 1 at Harden, so fuck it. I'm gonna do it. It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from Tier 1 teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective? to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. For three days they held their ground. But the enemy's numbers were too great. The 60 were cut down to 15. They wouldn't last another night and the enemy knew it. Under the cover of darkness, they evacuated the hospital, sending only one of their own to lead the way. The rest returned to the line and took up positions beneath the bodies of their fallen brothers. <laughs> the fallen brothers! Oh my god! They and wait, the blood from the Patriotism. Over them. The sand stuck to their skin like a shroud, changing them. Anointing them. Uh-huh. When the enemy drew near... The I don't know why sound is cutting out. ...rose out of the desert sand. They were like it's kind of annoying. Using stealth, their enemies could defend against. When the men ran dry of ammunition, they used their blades. And when the blades ran, though, they used their hands. I don't care. Sand had settled. Only one of the enemy had survived. He was picked up in the desert, wandering aimlessly, traumatized. He expressed warnings to others of a force so menacing and unbeatable, it could only be described as supernatural. He called them ghosts. Okay. And this really happened. So the legend goes. Come on, Dad. You don't honestly believe that story's true. Yeah. I do. Come on, let's head back to the house. I think this is actually my first real next-gen title, even Check though there are games that are more pre or prettier than this one. Uh, I'd, oh my god, the sensitivity is ridiculous. 
but yeah, I think this is the first one that I play that will come actually out on next gen console. To which I expect that it will be it will look like this. Those things used to freak the hell out of your mother. There's a lot of head bobbing. That's new for Call of Duty. Another one? There, we'll get a couple more of them before everything settles down. Wind's starting to pick up, too. It looks pretty, though. I will not lie about that. Yeah. Just not as impressive as, for example, Battlefield. Dude, the f fucking head bombing is making me a little seasick, though. It's Odin! Oh my god! It's fucking Anthony Hopkins. This is pretty cool, though. It's a volcano! I'm here! I'm here! I'm here. What the hell is that talking about? What's Odin? Come on. This place is gonna take off more of that. What the fuck is going on? It's jam. Help me out. Alright, let's okay. do it. I don't know a whole lot about this game though, which can be cool, because then it can actually surprise me. To whereas in the other Call of Duty state, oh, are we in gravity now? Where's Sandra Bullock? Hey Baker, here's our ride. Let's head in. Hey Lo, this is Odin Control. Ready to receive. Odin Control, we're heading back to debris the new crew. Roger, we're prepping airlock C. Shuttle is in final dock. C to the center. Oh my God. This is amazing. Hold on. Hold on. I'm putting the sound a little harder, though. It might be that um, the gunfire will be very loud. I don't know. I don't know if they said what year it was. So now that's in the future. But yeah, in other Call of Duty, they showed almost everything during Trader, and here they didn't show a whole lot. Talking like that probably means she'll die. You know, have they ever fucked in space? I mean, seriously, if there's a female astronaut, and I was a male astronaut, I wouldn't mind how ugly she was. Just having, or being able to have sex in space in zero gravity while looking at the Earth at six billion people? That would be awesome! Are you shitting me? Somebody had to have to do it. It has to be done already. Hey, Baker, give me a hand with the unload. Oh, dear God. What exactly is Odin, though? What are we? We're some super weapon? We're not just a satellite, obviously. We're a space station, for that matter. Looks beautiful, though. <gasps> I grab it! 
Oh, oh wow. I can actually. Oh damn. Oh shit, it does feel smooth again though, but I guess it's also because it's the same engine still. But, texture wise, oh, I'm, oh, hmm, you would expect, I don't know. I mean, is this how the fucking Xbox One and PlayStation 4 version will look like? I mean, I'm playing it on 720p though, I gotta admit that. I'm getting good frames, getting 58 frames per second, but, um, hmm, I don't know. Now you can read that though. Pull pin hold upright. Start back 10 feet and aim at the base of fire. I know that people are dying on the space station, but I just want to check. Aim at base of fire. Nothing. <laughs> nothing happened. Later. Later. Bitch! This is pretty cool though that they're still. Are they also like bleeding? Is the blood flowing? No. Phoenix. Locked. Targeting Houston. Locked. Targeting Miami. Locked. Odin targeting solution to verify. Estimated casualties. Oh shit! Over 27 million. Odin Control, we have no choice. We're scuttling the station. I'm sorry, Mosley. Why do we have something that can kill that many in space all of a sudden? I mean, nuclear bombs is one thing. And having this. I'm here, girl. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Well, it indeed turned into gravity. Ah! Wow. Well, this game is winning me over. I can tell you that much. I was talking about that they needed to show me the water level, but this is also very impressive. Well done, game. Because I just do want to say, even though Battlefield 4 looks a lot more beautiful, the campaign of what I've seen of that did not impress me a lot. I need to actually press Bhutan. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh Jesus. Oh no, girl. We have LOS with the crew of Odin Control. Repeat. Loss of signal with Odin Control. Oh Jesus. We're burning up. Ah! Well, so much for George Baker. Oh. 
Now we're in 2012. Where's John Cusack? Shitty movie, by the way. Hey! Oh my god! I like that they show you the apocalypse, though, the itself. Most of the things... It's, it's post-apocalyptic. Oh, did I... No. <laughs> Fuck that one up. So you just gotta assume what happened, but now you actually see it. I like that from, uh... Last of Us as well. Wait for me! Ah, wait for me, hashtag! Don't go yet! Oh, Jesus Christ. Where are all the other people? Wow. Hey, they, they are coming out with a bang. I forgot that Infinity War always made the Call of Duty games where you always pass out or fall off and have a blackout and stuff. Well, that is one hell of an intro. I gotta give him that. Most impressive. They shut me up good. The Federation's rise to power had started years ago. When the great energy producing deserts were destroyed, the world powers that depended on them collapsed, and in their wake, the Federation began to rise. The Federation united all of South America under one banner and devoured everything in its path as it moved relentlessly to the north. After turning Odin against us, the Federation stood on the doorstep of America, poised for the kill. They thought we were weak, crippled, prey, waiting to be taken. We fought hard. We fought well. We fought them to a bloody stalemate. And here, just beyond the craters of no man's land, God damn it, again with the fucking audio breakthrough. More powerful enemy. Ten years? Okay. Viking Six, you there? Hesh. Logan. Uh, copy. Yeah, we're here. Go ahead. Reports are coming in. Dallas got overrun last night. Command wants another sweep of the wall, ASAP. Shit. Any survivors? Negative. Oh, little doggy. Sorry, I didn't wake you. Thought you could use a sleep. Quiet boy. Listen. Hey, Riley's got something. I think you're Riley. Team two, are you near our position? Negative. We're outside. Your voice got something. Riley does. We're checking it now. Obviously, everybody thinks that the dog will die in the end. Somebody said actually some very interesting thing about for I me mean, about two weeks ago, where he thought maybe you would be forced to shoot the dog yourself. No, oh, you're kind of fucked up. I thought, I don't know. But because they were talking about oh, their whole new motion, you get attached to the dog. Then obviously, everybody already thought since the E3 demo, like oh, the dog will die. So I'm curious what they will do with that.
Nope. They're here. Clear. Come on up. 